It's Clayton, AKA Cell Dweller, and I am here in collaboration with Vintage King Audio with my little educational series that will teach you some basics about synthesis slash modular synthesis. Today we're gonna to talk about envelopes and VCAs. So an oscillator will constantly output sound. So how do you get it to stop outputting sound? You have to send it into a VCA, which is a voltage controlled amplifier, although that's a little bit of a misnomer because most of them are really voltage controlled attenuators, and I'll explain that difference in a second. But if I come directly out of an oscillator and go into this input, you'll hear that it's constantly making noise. Unless I turn the level all the way down. So that's why this is an attenuator, because at its max, the level should be exactly the same as it would be just directly coming out of the oscillator. What makes this a voltage-controlled attenuator is that you can attenuate the signal using a voltage. So you can control that using voltages like LFOs, envelopes, which I'll discuss in a minute as well. So why do we need VCAs and envelopes? Well, let's start with an envelope, because that is how you shape your sound. Generally speaking, of course this is all general, but this, you'll find this pretty common across the board. Most envelopes you're going to find have four stages. Attack, decay, sustain, and release. And usually in that order, but not always. When you hit a keyboard, for instance, you're sending not only pitch information to your oscillator, but you need to send a gate which tells the envelope, hey, we've got a signal, do something. When this envelope receives the gate, it acts according to your settings on that envelope. So your attack portion of the envelope, which is your first stage here, is how quickly your sound is going to reach maximum volume. So you'll see, as I hit the key, it's pretty immediate because that stage is all the way down. If I turn that stage up, you can hear there's a delay in the sound. You can dial that in, and this can not only control the volume like we're doing now, but it can control filters and of many other things. But let's just stick to the basics. The second stage is the decay stage, and what that signifies is the time it takes to get to the next stage, which is sustain, which is really a measurement of volume. So once I explain sustain, you'll understand why decay is important. So what is sustain? It's a measurement of volume. When I strike a key, that sustain level, because it's all the way down to zero, is basically off. It's a measurement of volume. If I turn that up, it's at max. How quickly you get to the sustain setting is determined by the decay stage. So my decay stage, if I have it all the way up, will take the longest amount of time to get to your sustain stage. If I turn this way down, you'll see that all I can get, no matter how long I hold this key, I've only got a short little pluck. Now if I turn them both up, which is kind of typical for how synthesizers work, that means for as long as I hold a key, my sound will hold. And then the release time, when I take my finger off that key, is controlled by the release stage. So if I have that all the way down, it will be immediate. The more I increase this, the longer the tail of the sound takes to fade out. If I turn that all the way up, all different envelopes will act a little bit differently from each other, but in general these principles apply to almost all envelopes. What if we wanted to use a second envelope and I'm using the same gate from my keyboard, I'm just multing it. So I'm sending the same exact gate to two envelopes at once, but this one is completely independent, and I'm sending this to the frequency of the filter. So what that will allow me to do is now have a second envelope which will control the filter, while the first envelope is controlling the overall volume of your sound. There you go. So that, this envelope is controlling your filter cutoff. So let's make a nice tight plucky bass sound. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that my duration is set very low, sustain is off, and release maybe a tiny bit. The more I turn that decay down, the quicker your filter is going to close, which will give you a snappier, tighter kind of bass sound if that's what you're going for. 
Thanks for sticking all the way through this episode of Cell Builder Production. I hope you learned something about envelopes and VCAs and why they're important. There's a lot more of these videos coming to my channel, so subscribe to my channel or save this playlist so you are in the know. And until next time, this is Clayton, signing off.